Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome to Kingdom Purpose Television. You are listening and watching Kingdom Purpose Television. And we thank you for joining us today. Hello, everyone. I'm Pastor Overseer David Ray of Growing Together Ministries worldwide in 46 countries of the world. And we've been serving God online since December of 2016. December of 2016 it is when God gave us the online ministry. We've been in the gospel ministry 39 years, and we praise God for what God has done in and out of the ministry and the development God has given me personally to be able to help people. We love you today, and God loves you. We love you today here at Growing Together Ministries. Our local tabernacle is at 601 Main Street in Lewiston, Woodville, North Carolina, in northeastern North Carolina. And we are a stable ministry with vision for the future and a ministry that is in love with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give the Father all the glory on this afternoon. Turn with me to John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verses 12, 13, and 14 as we continue to speak on verses that will change your daily life and change your life in general. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you for those that are joining right now. We pray your blessings on those that are watching and listening. We pray, God, your direction on their lives, that you give them knowledge of you through this broadcast today from John chapter 14, verses 12, 13, and 14, that they receive from the word of God today. If there's those, and I know there are, those watching that are unsaved, unsure of their relationship with you. Father, I pray right now that they would ask you to forgive them of all their sins right now where they may sit or stand or listen or watch. And Father, come into their life and save them right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do it now, God. Do it now. There are those in the United States and all over the world being saved right now. They are accepting Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior right now. It's that simple. We thank you, Father. Lead me and guide me through this broadcast in the next short few minutes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. John chapter 14, verses 12, 13, and 14. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he, he who believes on me, there is a condition to receiving the power of God. There is a condition to you tapping in to the resources of heaven. You must first accept him 
as personal Lord and Savior, as many just did all over the world. And now you must trust and believe on him. The works that I do shall he do also. The works that Jesus Christ did, we will now do. But the condition is that we must believe on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Right at the time of the ascension, Jesus was instructing the people that I'm getting ready to leave. You have seen my work. You've seen the miracles take place. And God says that if you have seen the works I have done and you believe in me, you shall do greater works. The works of Christ were confined to greater Israel, while the works of believers were cover the entirety of the world. That includes you. That includes me today. What type of works are you doing for the Father? Are you just sitting back, relaxing and coasting and waiting for heaven? Uh, the Father said, you shall do greater works. The word for the today and the verse for today is John chapter 14, verse 12. You, I'm speaking to you, man, woman, boy, or girl that is watching this broadcast, you right now. Jesus Christ has commanded you to do greater works than he has done. You shall do greater works. I want you to say that with me right now. I shall do greater works than my father did because he has given me permission. Verse 12 opens the floodgates of heaven to you right now. If you are a believer, you are a child of God. It opens the avenues to connect with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit right now. Why are you sitting back and waiting for someone else to do the work? of God. When you as a believer, there is no respecter of persons on this great kingdom purpose television afternoon. Uh, there is no respect of person, no respecter of color of skin. Uh, we are all commissioned to do greater works. Uh, and if you're laid back and you're lazy, you're not doing what God has asked you to do. God wants you to do greater works. Will you receive that on this afternoon? Greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. Let's read 13 and 14. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Ask in the name of the Father right now, and God will come through for you. What are you waiting on? Ask, and you shall receive in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm Pastor David Ray of Growing Together Ministries, 601 Main Street, Lewiston, Woodville, North Carolina. We love you and God loves you.